You know, in this short lecture, we'll talk about characters in the great poem, The Night in the Panther Skin. Actually, the brave and loyal knights of Tandil and Tariel, these two characters represent the most devoted friends and tender lovers. Both heroes capable of uh, totally love. Actually, uh, totally love is uh, is a love that emphasizes uh, nobility and uh, chivalry. And men endowed with uh, free will. They initially were actively involved and served the kingdom's uh, held position of uh, modern steward or mayor of the palace. Beside their position, they only obey their beloveds. Therefore, their love and dedication is unwavering. The mutual commitment and friendship they, uh, they swear also extends to a third person, Nuruddin Tridon, that is the ruler of the city of Mubazanzar, who is also endowed with the same heroic qualities. Tariel is, however, distinguished by his wild character, as symbolized by his wearing the panther skin. The qualities associated with Quet is dedication and courage, his hatred and violence could be extreme and uh, uncontrollable. It is also close to St. George slaying the dragon, whose cult was particularly strong in the 12th century, especially in the episode where Tariel kills a lion and a panther. In the next step, we will talk about the faithful, faithful uh, and patient lovers, Tinatin and the Standard Gun. Although they take little action, these female characters, Tinatin and the Standard Gun, are constantly present in the thoughts of the Knights of the Dill and Tariel, of course, and serve to give the narrative tension as a whole. Princesses uh, higher in social rank than their servant knights are inspired by the Queen Tamar. Uh, or uh, reflect the fact that each of them is the sovereign in their own realm. Tinatin chooses her own husband, which, ref uh, which references Queen Tamar who also chose her, her second husband. As a uh, role, as a role, as the sovereign. And her father, Osleman, ceding his form to his daughter, references King George the Third of uh, Georgia, who was succeeded by uh, his daughter in uh, 1179 after his death. Tinatin is a static character who leaves no time to the court of her father in Arabia. The standard judge is a prisoner in, in distance regions, that is to say in the country of the Kajis. And she is also passive, but their confidence, righteousness shows these two women being faithful, faithful and respective lovers. 
as for uh, Patwal, she is an uh, altered representation of uh, the type, that is to say, the type of uh, the standard John and Tinatin, but an, a daughter's during the absence of her husband, Hussein. During uh, uh, the, uh, the absence of Hussein, she betrayed Hussein by falling in love with uh, Optendil. But one takes little account of her honor because of the fact that she betrayed her husband Hussein and because of the fact that she humiliates her husband Hussein on account of his bodily defects. Her character is true to life from the artistic point of view. Despite everything, she is capable of displaying both affection and sincere warmth peculiar to a woman. So she actually shows the warmth to and she betrays her husband to walks uh, of Tandil and uh, she also takes uh, care about uh, uh, a standard John. So she spares no effort to save an uh, Estan. It is uh, very characteristic that when Patman learns uh, the, of the purpose of, of the, this journey, the purpose of, the, of the, this journey was to find uh, the standard John, the abducted the standard John, Tarius Love, Tarius Beloved. And then she makes no attempt to keep uh, the man she loves, that is uh, to say, of Tandil, at her side even for a short time. Okay, thank you very much.